travelers. Today I want to show you what I think is the best wallet for traveling. I have here what are called uh, front pocket wallets or slim wallets. So the reason I suggest using a slim or front pocket wallet when traveling is because they are generally much slimmer and a bit smaller uh, and more compact than a traditional uh, buy or tri-fold wallet. Also because they are designed for your front pockets, um, the front pocket is a much safer area to keep your money, uh, especially while you're traveling in night markets. There's not going to be a, an obvious bulge um, from your back pocket, which is usually where the pickpockets will target. Currently I do carry two slim wallets with me. Uh, the reason is because sometimes I like to keep one wallet in my bag as a kind of a decoy. So you might put a very small amount of money in here, the equivalent of about one or two dollars. If it does get stolen, then you're not going to be out much money and the pickpockets will think that they've gotten away with your wallet. The second reason is sometimes I like to switch between wallets depending on the country. For example, I might put like a touch card from one country in one wallet and then as I check through the airport I might take out the other wallet which has got cash from that country ready to go. So the first wallet that I want to look at is from a company called Slimmy. So Slimmy also make an international version of this wallet. This one is the original version. The problem with the original version is that some currencies are a bit larger than the wallet so they stick out the top. So if you are going to get one of these wallets, I would suggest getting the international version. So the design of this wallet is quite interesting. It has stitches on the two sides. This allows much easier access to cards and cash. The stitching on the two sides allows for a really strong grip of what's inside. So even if you shake the wallet around, the contents won't move around at all. So it's a very good wallet. I do recommend this one uh, for a first time use of a front pocket wallet. So the second wallet I have is the Saddleback Leather Wallet here. It has about four areas for cards, so here one, two, three and four. You can put more cards in each slot but you'd be risking stretching the leather and once it's stretched it won't uh, go back so you have to always put two cards otherwise the area for your card will become loose and the cards might fall out. Sometimes the sharp edges can be uncomfortable in your pocket. The rounded edges do help with this, they allow it to contour more to the shape of your pocket and they are more comfortable. The problem I have with the Saddleback Wallet though is that because it's stitched on three sides it's a little bit more difficult to get the money in and out. For example if I have just one note of paper money sometimes it's hard to get it in there fully. So all in all uh, I would definitely recommend checking out the Slimmy International Wallet. It's a very good wallet for traveling. I highly recommend this one. Uh, it's a very good place to keep your money safe and also it's very easy to access your money when you need it. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, be sure to tune in next week for the next video and also write a comment below of what kind of wallet you use when traveling or what kind of wallet you would suggest other people to use. Thank you.